Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to Grove Kit. Uh, so it's mid-October now, um, we're out on a vegetable garden today and I'm just having a look around the vegetable garden and deciding what I want to do. So um, I think I'm going to start clearing some of this, get ready for winter. Uh, anything that um, is ready for harvest, I'm going to harvest. I can see there's a few carrots in there, some potatoes. Uh, there's a pumpkin or two in there and some squashes uh, so we'll be pulling them up and whatever's left in the greenhouse I think there's loads of tomatoes in there uh, we have to get them out before they start going rotten uh, they probably already have but never mind uh, so we're just going to have a little tidy up harvest whatever's left to harvest and see where we go from there so um, uh, if you want to join me uh, that'd be great uh, I'll get back to you in a second and we'll make a start. Uh, so, um, there's a cat there, Storm. <laughs> uh, so looking around here, um, there's a few tomatoes on there which I might be able to salvage. Uh, but they've started, some of them have started going rotten now. So, uh, But there is some good ponds on there. So we'll be taking them off in a minute and emptying out the pots, all the compost I'm just going to spread across the bed. Um, there was a couple of the strawberries, but I think they've been eating by something. Uh, they decided to flower again, some of them. Uh, some flowers have fallen over, uh, but uh, we might be able to save some seeds from some of them. Uh, but I'm not going to bother trying to stand them back up, I'm just going to pull them out now. And there are some carrots in here still. Um, some of them are actually really big, so we'll pull them up. Uh, hopefully they haven't been nibbled by anything. The Brussels sprouts over there, um, obviously won't be ready yet. Uh, but there is little sprouts starting to form. So hopefully we'll get some sprouts in a couple of months. And potatoes in there still. Um, hopefully they haven't got rot gone rotten or been eaten by anything, uh, but I'm hoping they should still be okay. Uh, so I'll be yanking them out. And there's a pumpkin over there. Only a little one, but we'll go get that. These sunflowers have fallen over as well. <laughs> I did tie these ones up, but we had a bit of wind a while ago and they fell over. There's another pumpkin there. A couple of little squashes and some more squashes in there uh, which we need to harvest. Uh, so everything else is, uh, has been pruned back and I've put all the fruit bushes and stuff around the edge uh, just to get it out of the way for the winter. Um, compost's doing well over there uh, I'm going to have to sort that out soon and I'm thinking of making a new bed. Uh, you see where these, this is where I had all the fruit bushes originally. Uh, I'm thinking about making a new bed that runs all the way down there. Uh, so I've got a lot more room next year to grow more stuff. Uh, all the herbs here are dying off now. Um, I'm going to leave them alone for now. But I might be able to save some seeds. And when they die back more, I'll just cut them back and leave them be. Yeah, so in the greenhouse as you can see there's lots of tomatoes ready. I'm sure some of them have started going rotten but um, quite a lot of them look good. Yeah, all the cucumbers are gone now. We get so many cucumbers this year and I've saved a couple. These ones went over so uh, I'm saving these because I'm going to take the seeds out of them. And I will save some seeds from some of the tomatoes as well. There's another cucumber there I've just spotted. Uh, but there's loads of tomatoes in here which are looking really good. Uh, I don't think they're going to ripen much more. Uh, so I'll take off the red ones and just compost the rest of them. And I'll rip the plants out as well. Uh, there is some more peppers ready. Uh, I may try overwintering some of these pepper plants. Uh, but there are some good peppers on there. So, 
So, um, we'll make a start. I'm going to set the camera up somewhere. And I'm going to make a start on this bed over here. Uh, where the cat's set. <laughs> so I'll give that two in a second. And we'll, we'll make a start. Uh, so, first things first. We get this sun player out of the way. And we're going to harvest these carrots. There's a nice, looks alright, short, dumpy carrot. So, no major pest damage on these. So we'll pull, I'll pull the rest of these up and then we'll move over to the potato patch. Okay, so this is what we ended up with uh, for the carrots. So a lot of them are quite short and dumpy, but they're still good. Some funny shaped ones. Uh, so um, before we go at the end of the video, I'll get them all sorted out and I'll do a harvest reveal uh, at the end, I'll show you everything that we harvested today. Um, so I'll just give this a quick dig over as well, uh, to make sure there's no other carrots in there. Uh, so next I'm going to do is pull up all these potatoes and hope that they're still okay. Okay, so I uh, have some two rows of potatoes pulled up. <laughs> That's hard work digging potatoes up. So they turned out pretty good. Not too much pest damage. A couple of them got a couple of holes in them, but we can cut around them. Some nice size ones, good for jacket potatoes. Nice mixture of sizes. And I'll show you this monster over here. Look at that one. That's officially the biggest potato I have ever grown. <laughs> that makes a, make a nice jacket potato, that one. So, so don't be in a rush to harvest your potatoes. Um, Alright, so that's them harvested. I'll get them all cleaned up and uh, show you everything at the end. Uh, we've got a pumpkin there. Nice little one. So, kids will have fun carving that. And over here, there's some more squashes. And another pumpkin. I'll take that off. It's hard to do this one in. Oh. 
not massive, but still a nice pumpkin. Right, so I'll make a start on getting this lot cleared and harvesting them squashes. did start digging over there but I'll do that in a bit <laughs> yeah good uh, so we've got a few squashes <laughs> Not, didn't do very well with the squashes this year but uh, we've got a butternut squash and a couple of summer squashes and a couple of little pumpkins some sunflower heads there which I'll give to the chickens uh, but the main success was the potatoes uh, so um, I'm just going to get this lot cleaned up and I'll show you what, what we got. Okay guys, so uh, this is what we got from the from that veg bed today. Uh, so we got a couple of pumpkins, some squashes, the sunflower heads, uh, quite a few carrots, some good sized ones, and loads of potatoes. Um, I'm particularly proud of this one. <laughs> it's humongous. Uh, but anyway, I um, hope you enjoyed today's uh, video. Um, so we've just been harvesting this lot and uh, I was going to dig, dig that over today, but uh, I ran out of time now. So uh, I'll have to come back and do that another day. Um, we'll have to come back another day and clear out the greenhouse as well. Uh, but I will take some of the good tomatoes with me today, um, hopefully. Uh, but anyway, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you could subscribe that'd be great and feel free to comment and give the video the thumbs up uh, see you later guys hope you all have a great weekend